Hi, I'm Lori Webb and this is uh, Laura O'Connor. Laura O'Connor from Laura's Bakery here in Liverpool. Now, Laura, can you tell us a little bit about how you got the idea to start Laura's Bakery? Um, it basically come from uh, New York, uh, of all places. Um, trip over there inspired me to bake, basically. Um, now, when was this trip? Uh, about five years ago. Okay. About five years ago. Um, I've not baked at all, uh, tasted New York cheesecake um, from there started baking and this is where we are. <laughs> so when did you open actually? Uh, I opened this place uh, six weeks ago, so very, okay. very new. So uh, but my own business, Laura's Little Bakery, has been about 14 months now. I did from home okay. until, uh, until six weeks ago. And so, so essentially five years ago, you went to New York, got inspired, never cooked, never baked before. No. And now this is your livelihood, this is what you do. Uh, this is my business, yeah. Yes. This is uh, how I bring the money in. Uh, um, okay. Yeah. And so, so what is it? What is your style like? What what brings the customers to you? Um, I think I'm kind of best known because I've well I balance the cupcakes between looking great and uh, and tasting really good. Um, I do a lot of bespoke um, cupcakes. So I have orders from all around the city, um, top businesses as well, and higher. Um, Echo Arena. Um, so what supplies. kind? Of, so what kind of things would be? What would someone order from you? Well, for instance, I've just delivered a, a box of twelve Toy Story cupcakes um, okay. for a little boys' party. Um, I have bespoke ones for Liverpool Empire where we did a uh, Legally Blonde. Um, so I'll, you know, create little different designs for that. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No. I was just going to say. So would you say that you're, you're in doing these? Um, the bespoke. Would you say that that's kind of headed toward that why people would want to go to your bakery as opposed to other bakeries as well? Uh, Is no, that I a think, new I trend? I, I would base it on taste. I think uh, people come to me because they love the cupcakes, they love the taste of them. Now, um, are they American recipes? Are they English um, recipes? Are they international? No. The, well, I base a lot of them on traditional cakes. Um, so, you know, I'll do like Victoria Sponge cupcakes, yeah. Terry Bakewell, Battenberg. Uh, I think my top seller is salted caramel. Um, yeah, I think I just have a good balance of, of looking good and, and the flavour. Okay, so let's talk about some of the like the challenges of being an entrepreneur. For you, I can imagine starting in an, in an industry that you didn't have any prior experience in. That's also something that many entrepreneurs might even stray away from. So you must have some some great backbone. Um, <laughs> I'm determined. I'm a very determined person. Um, you know, once I kind of set my mind on something, um, that's me really, <laughs> quite stubborn, which is, you know, set me well here, I think. Um, we've got support as well from local organisations, which help me on my way. Um, you know, good friends, good family. Um, so support. Support yeah, is always support. support. Um, possibly not enough, but... <laughs> um, so, okay, this is, that's a good one. So, where, when you don't feel the support, what what would help you? What would be useful for you? Um, what would f make you feel like you had more support? I think um, I, I don't know really what's out there. What what's out there to help me um, as a small independent business? Mm -hmm. um, you know, even down to kind of what suppliers are the best. Okay. Um, you know, if there's any kind of grants out there, I don't okay. know any of this information. So um, uh, access to monies, um, access to networks, uh, access to maybe I mean. Do you need help with running your business, um, um, administration, or you, you do have support? This, the women's organisation, which I'm sure you've heard of in Liverpool, um, you haven't. <laughs> I don't. I don't come from. Um, well, it's it's you know probably the main kind of organisation which helps. It's called women's, women's organisation. Yeah, women especially separate okay. business, but. Um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of started it and fell out because it wasn't really offering me as much help as I needed really. Uh, okay. So something a little bit stronger would be good. Okay, um, so so what what more specifically would you be aiming for? If this is, your, this is, you know, if I'm the fairy godmother and I'm able to grant you your wish, what could I do for you? Um, what would, would help you? Do you have someone to help you in the business? I have staff, but, but this will bring up the issue already of, um, you know, kind of wages and, and mm -hmm. setting things up like that because, yeah. you know, I'm basically running this business on my own. Um, I've got three children as well, um, so, you know, going home and doing all of that, there's not really a lot of time to go, right, how do I actually run this business? So yes. it's, 
you know, successful financially. Um, how do I go about setting up wages? You know, there's loads and loads of things that crop up, which you know, I end up going to business link, but sometimes, you know, it's not the easiest way to, to kind of take things in. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Do you have um just uh, because also we have our our social media group over here? Do you have our do you connect via like in terms of doing a promotion? Do you use social media at all? I use Twitter, which um which is Twitter handle uh, at Laura's Bakery. At um, Laura's Bakery, that's okay. huge in my business. My I think I run ninety nine point nine percent of my business free Twitter. Um, <laughs> it's amazing for me. Yeah, um, okay, I run so Twitter competitions daily. Um, okay. Most of my Twitter, my customers are, right. are tweeters. Um, okay, so that's yeah, that's huge. interesting. I mean, in terms of you think of 2012, like how the bakery business. When I, I mean, I'm older than you are, so thinking of how bakeries used to do their businesses before, to think that a bakery would survive, like 99% of their business is based on Twitter. That's amazing. I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's huge. I mean, obviously, I get the walking in trade now, right. but um, you know, a lot of it's come from. Another thing that I've noticed, like that you actually, you're sitting in what's what's the name of the store? Uh, this is Stockton's, the home quarter. Okay, so this there is a, a trend at least um, throughout Europe that you instead of just having your own space, that you actually connect this collaborative space. So it's a nice combination that people are here looking for for interiors and that they might want to pop, up, pop yeah. over and have a cupcake. Yep. Now, Absolutely. was that a strategic decision or was it just kind of an opportunity that fell in your lap? It or? was an opportunity that fell in my lap. Um, that was too good to, to refuse, really. Um, and a nice little first step, really, for me. Um, okay, so a, a bridge from going from running a home-based business, because you remember Laura's business was based out of her house, and now you're here. This is the first uh, yeah. physical property. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Laura, just in kind of in summation, that by living your dream, but you never know where your inspiration is going to come. Laura was on a trip to New York and didn't bake. Suddenly she's baking, getting very successful by using social media and by making the best damn cupcakes she can make <laughs> and by making them look beautiful. So we'll be going to talk to another entrepreneur. Thank you very much. I'm Lori Webb. And thank you, thank you Laura. We appreciate it. Cheers.